Do you have trouble understanding Starling's Law? Not anymore. Okay, so Starling's Law is pertaining to this ventricle here, the left ventricle. And it's a direct relationship between the amount of stretch and fluid that we have inside that ventricle. So to give you an idea or concept of this, if this is our left ventricle, the idea is that the more fluid we add to it, the more the fluid is going to stretch out that ventricle. And the more we stretch out that ventricle, the better the contraction is in through and propelling blood throughout the body. And so that is what Starling's Law is talking about, is it's proportional to the amount of fluid that we give that ventricle is going to stretch out those cardiac myocytes and allow for better propelling of blood. So the less fluid we have, the less stretch we have, meaning less contractility. The more fluid we have, the more stretch of those, contra those myocytes, the better contractility and propelling of blood that we have. Now there is caveats to this where we have muscular damage or a lack of fluid that's going to change the proportions of this relationship. But in a healthy heart, the more stretch we have from fluid inside that left ventricle, the more propelling of fluid that we can have because better contractility and vice versa, the less fluid, the less stretch, meaning less contractility.